and welcome to Top of the Table, the official online highlight show for the North Norfolk Table Tennis League. It's our second show of the 2011-12 season. Last time it was Cup Games, now the league itself is in full swing. It's week five of the season and the third round of league games. We're at a hot and humid North Horsham Sports Centre on the warmest start to October on record for a derby between the B and D teams. North Ocean Sports Centre B looked like being something of the dark horses of this year's league and it's the formidable team of Fawn, Johns and Captain Elliot in his first year as captain. Up against them, North Ocean D, led this time by non-playing captain Mary Sawyer. The team out is Stone, Price and Usher. Our featured match is the clash between Johns and Stone. We're going to pick it up right at the start, Stone to serve. Yeah. Uh, oh.
Well, that was the closest any of the North Horsham Sports Centre D team got to taking a point as North Horsham Sports Centre B won a whitewash 10-0. Here, as you can see, is the result of all the games of the match. The first five won in straight, then that five setter for Johns you've just seen. Paul Price taking a set from Fawn, Dave Johns beating Usher in straight, Stone very disappointing against Elliot, and Stone and Price taking a set from Johnson Elliott in the doubles, but as I said, 10-0 for North Orsham B. So let's just quickly look through the results from the first three weeks of league games themselves, starting at the beginning, week one, another good win there for North Orsham B against Sharks. Newly promoted backhanders starting their first division campaign at Cromer with a 9-1 win against North Orsham D. Philip Stone losing another five-setter to Tusa Wilson in that one, and Outlaws just a bit too strong for North Orsham A. Second division, a whitewash for poachers against cross courts. Goblins winning 7-3 at Gresham School. Not a great night at the Sports Centre. The C and E teams losing to Pirates and Barracudas, respectively. Then the second week, not such a good result for North Orsham B. They lost 9-1 at Hunworth away to Outlaws. Paul Price playing up from D for B in that one. The one point going B's way was the doubles. Also a 9-1 win for specials. A morale-boasting win for North Horsham D, however, 8-2 against Sharks. Despite a heavy head cold, Charlie Usher took a maximum. And then in the second division, wins for Barracudas, Poachers and the C team beating E in the North Horsham Derby. And then finally, taking us up to date, week three, we've seen that whitewash for North Horsham B against North Horsham D. Another whitewash for specials against Sharks. North Horsham A tested at Cromer but winning 6-4 against Backhanders. And in the second division, a close 6 4 win for Pirates in the Hunworth Derby. Gresham's too strong for cross courts, Haken Bennell and Ian Darricott playing in that one. Goblins also too strong for North Horsham E. The three points for the E's coming against the returning Chris Pooley, but he did behave himself. And then North Horsham C winning 6 4 in a tight finish against Barracudas. So, what does all that do to the league tables? Here's our first look this season. Specials, the defending champions from Gimmingham leading the way. North Horsham D and Sharks languishing in the relegation zone. Of course, very early days. And it's rather tight at the moment in the second division. Poachers from Hunworth leading the way. Perhaps the Gimmingham Goblins in fourth place ones to watch. Six points behind Poachers with a game in hand. And finally, let's just have a quick look at the leading averages in the first division. Absolutely no surprise at this early stage to see the four Johns, Hancock, Paul, Batchwood and Fawn leading the way, all undefeated. 
Of course, Mr. Hancock Jr. is chasing Mr. Paul's record. Hancock Jr. is on 133 consecutive singles victories in the league, just 10 behind the record of John Paul at 143. So watch this space. For all the latest results, news, stats, match reports and previews, check out the league's brand new website www.nntl.org.uk. We'll see you soon on top of the table for more highlights, but bye for now.